Hey there, I'm Doyle from a band from Indiana called Cloak Room. I'm uh, out here on the streets of Chicago in the uh, windy city and I'm talking about my Telecaster. What are you doing? This here is a Jim Atkins signature series, singer-songwriter from Jimmy World. He designed an amazing Telecaster. I like any guitar that's a neck through. That's nice. See, one solid piece there. Yes, very nice. It's got a nice weight to it. It's got some Seymour Duncan pickups in there. These P90s don't get too close. They're a little greasy here. Uh, I usually keep it in the middle pickup. I like to use both. Uh, I like where the jack is located on this guitar specifically. I like where the guts are located specifically. Easy to get to, easy to take care of. The Jim Atkins. Crafted in Indonesia, beautiful country. Everything's dived, why use anything less? I don't have a volume pedal, so I am pretty heavy on my volume knobs. That could be a problem, you know, you could have a bad connection if you overuse them. You gotta be diligent about this stuff. You know, thanks Diodario for always hooking us up with 50% off. You guys are great. Uh, I use 11s, I use the coated ones. They're nice, I swear by them, honestly. Tuning, uh, we are flat, if it was good enough for Weezer's uh, Pinkerton, uh, just E flat and then down to C sharp, you know, for, for the one finger chords. Oh, fancy to see you here. We're in location three at the empty bottle. Here I have my pedal board. I've got the Big Muff Pie. If it was good enough for Jimi Hendrix, it's good enough for me. Uh, I got it from my barber, actually. He uh, lives in Laporte, Indiana, where I reside. And uh, he gave me the box and everything. He said, do you want this before I give it to Goodwill? And I told him I'd take it all over the place, and I have. It hasn't broken yet. The memory toy, of course, the Polytune, the Polytune 1, not the Polytune 2. Uh, I just got this little gravy train here. The uh, Also a TC Electronic, the chorus. I put that at the end of the chain. I've got the Memory Man with the Hazardize setting. That's pretty crucial. You can do a couple of presets in there, easily switching. And of course, the Hall of Fame 2, another TC Electronic standby. Maybe we should talk TC Electronics. We should talk. I like these presets because, uh, you know, you can write a song around them. They're always there for you. You don't have to dial them in. I really like the reverse echo. It's perfect. And uh, this 300 millisecond with the mod is just, uh, you know, it goes crazy up there. It's uh, everything you can, you know, throw a stick at. It's, it's right there. The memory toy. Excuse me. I leave on mostly for the whole set. These are the settings that I leave on. Instead of using a reverb tank on my amp or a reverb pedal, I just use the memory toy, which functions uh, like, a, like a reverb pedal would. I like basically any 100 watt tube head. If you give me a JCM 900 or uh, Sovtech, you know, I turn up the bass a lot. Uh, it's a, we're a very bassy, muddy band. So I turn up the bass, I turn down the treble a little bit, and hopefully, the show goes off without a hitch. You know. Here's my uh, buddy's amp, it's Dean Costello. He made it, he's a Chicago local. It's a really heavy amp, really nice, great, great amp there. It's got a blue jewel, the blue jewel up there. Yeah, that's Dean Costello's amp. Here we have the FMT series by Fender. A neck through Telecaster. One piece, one piece of wood. It's got the, the Seymour Duncan pickups in it as well, the wrapped ones. Uh, it's got the abalone, cousin of abalone inlays there. I didn't take, uh, take the tuners off. I usually do shallower tuners when I buy a new guitar. Uh, but Fender sent me this stock. Thanks, Fender. You guys are great, you know? So I use this predominantly for the whole set. I've got a couple of different tunings that I use that Jim Atkins for. I do uh, an open C tuning for a couple of songs, but this is just usually standard and flat. I'm just tuning the E to E D, and there it is, and you know, whatever mysteries I do on stage. You guys know about the Terra Echo? You guys know about these classic Boss hold settings? You hold this down, this has got a really nice hold setting. I like when pedals do that. Oh, we're plastered all over the internet. We're on the socials. We're recording a record, the 27th. I'm gonna be celebrating New Year's and I'm gonna be thinking about my tones and my pedals. Thanks for checking us out. We're Flow Group from Northwest Indiana. My name's Doyle.